Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally, the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here, you'll be able to do it. Somehow compensate for my lack of strength. I could prove it. My goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until I mastered something, and it worked. My counterpunch is the result. Oh. What is up, you all? What's up, what's up, what's up? Familia catching puzzle pieces. If you're a subscriber, if you're watching the videos, you are a part of the family. Uh, yeah, whether you like the content or not, because you're watching it for a reason, right? But here we have Proverbs 6 to 6 9. This one. This was a little heavy. It's, it's pretty deep and it's pretty heavy. So you, you may feel some holy rocks hitting you. <laughs> I know I feel them every time I read it. Every time I read it. Uh, and this is how we gain greater understanding. This is how we apply it to our life. And this is how we live this verse. By reading it to ourselves. Repeating it to ourselves through the day. Especially when the opportunity comes. Whenever our mind, our feelings, our emotions is like, ugh. When you feel yourself dragging. When you feel yourself dragging, it could be at 3 p.m., it could be at 7 a.m., it could be at 
6 p.m. when you made it home and you know whatever time but this is a little heavy but we can handle this we can handle this this is father God correcting us and as I said it before if you if you apply it the way that I'm sharing with you then you will yield some divine results in your life through your life through the course of your life journey but let's make, make not so 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 challenging let's make it just for today one day at a time go to the end you sluggard consider its ways and be wise it has no commander overseer or ruler yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest how long will you lie there you sluggard when will you get up from your sleep Proverbs 6 to 6, 9. Ooh, gotta go. Uh, yeah, so let's repeat that to ourselves each and every time through the journey of our day that this applies. That's how we renew our mind. This is how we apply. Don't ye be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind. All right, y'all, so here is the craziest serendipity that the Holy Spirit has led me to. Um, so I'm gonna share this clip with you guys, and uh, yeah, this is crazy. What he speaks about in the video, that's not what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about uh, the clip, what I'm gonna share with y'all here. When I play it, you guys will know. What I'm talking about. Oh, well, really, actually, it's about uh, puzzle pieces, right? New insights, new revelations, moments of clarity, experiencing the light bulb moment. This is what I mean by puzzle pieces, uh, by catching puzzle pieces, right? That's why I named my channel, I changed it to catching puzzle pieces. Which, but what I mean by that is gaining new insights, gaining new understanding. Yes, but this serendipity, this is the craziest one yet. It blew my mind. It's crazy. Because uh, Father God basically, he, he gave someone else, another uh, brother in Christ, right? somewhere on planet earth he gave him the same he spoke to him he gave him the same revelation the same understanding about insights and like i told you all before for me i had to figure out a way or father god had to give me a way to communicate the message right to you all and so that's why i call it catching puzzle pieces and that's why i give the glory to father god uh yeah but check out the serendipity uh and i'll play the video master and welcome i'm kenneth andre tenjutsu master and mystic messenger everything that i share and say and do is for a reason if this sounds like a contradiction there isn't investigate further now i am going to be really pushing the boundaries now in fact we're going over the boundaries no more milk it's going to be meat and it's going to be very challenging i urge you to be open-minded about the things that you're about to hear in this video the world is not what it seems okay the things we've been observing through our senses is not true as i've mentioned and i've given milk these little jigsaw puzzle pieces of gold, hints, 
throughout these videos, okay, of the nature of this world and our journey, etc., in it. And I'm all about the Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son being formed in us, that we would reflect the Father, our source, the conceived of conception, the invisible light, spirit, and love, all right? With the living Holy Spirit, the Trinity, which is one, and it's in the temple of God. Okay, I just want to stress that first. And my purpose is to bring us closer to the truth, in balance, in harmony with the Creator, with the Holy Bee's name, wholeness, seeing God in full, seeing the face of God, and being in praise and appreciation. However, the things that Father has shown me, it's it's not for everyone, and that's why everything is in parables. Even, did you know the book of Enoch is actually referred to as the book of parables? Okay. However, Spirit is pushing me to share what it is that I've received, what it is that I know, and not to hold back. And hence, I'm going deeper in this video, and I'm going to be saying some things that men would struggle with, maybe think I was crazy, and go off and carry a, carry on with their life. And that's fine, okay? I wish you all the best. I really do. But nonetheless, I've got to share what it is that I've learned over the years, studying day and night. And Spirit actually was quite abrupt in showing me the falsity of this reality that I would be able to distinguish between that which is false and that which is true. And I know that where I am is completely fake. It's not the real reality. I've seen the visions. I know where I come from. A place I call home, which is our reality. This world is a shadow century copy, as told us in the Bible. Okay. Me is trying to make you focus on the things that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle. Thank you for assisting me. I was sitting here praying this morning and I was asking God in his word gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me I'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me I can't keep it to myself I have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and I have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of God right so I have to do my due diligence by sharing what the Lord gives how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. The mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics, I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding, stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life? 